guys, it's Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Well, today's video is all about if you have an eBay store. And if you do have an eBay store, you might have noticed in the last few days, there's a new prompt that's coming up in the Seller Hub underneath the tasks that's asking us to finish setting up our store to help improve conversion rate. Now in my own store, it's telling me I've only got one of these tasks to complete. The rest of them I've already done in the past. And the one task that still needs doing is I'm supposed to create this eBay seller video. Now what's really surprised me is it said that I should add this video to share what's special about my store and those stores that do have this eBay video are apparently getting up to a 33% higher conversion rate. 33%? Oh my goodness. 33% <laughs> higher conversion rate is a lot. So if eBay is telling me that I need to complete this task, well, you better believe it, I'm going to complete the task. Now, I've looked up the specifications on what it's telling me I need to create this eBay video. So the video needs to be an MP4 or a movie format. It needs to be no bigger than 150 megabytes, and it needs to be no longer than one minute. Well, it shouldn't be too hard for me because I'm used to making videos, but I kind of feel sorry for all the eBay sellers out there who have never made a video before because it can be a little bit intimidating. Now, I just want to clarify that this is not a required function from eBay. This is one of the recommended functions, just like with the item specifics. Some of them are recommended, some of them are required. This is just a recommended function to help you get more conversions. Now, for me, I don't have a problem showing my eBay store in this little video. I'm actually gonna film walking around my whole little store here and show them exactly what I'm working from, where their books are being kept, and that I'm working here as a mum from home. I'm not afraid to show all that. However, if you're one of these sellers who's working out of your living room or your lounge room or your bedroom, or you maybe have stock in multiple rooms of your house or through your kitchen, you probably don't want to be showing that kind of video format to your buyers. These people want to think that they're buying from like a professional workspace, not somebody who's got their items <laughs> piled up next to their kitchen sink. <laughs> so if you are one of those sellers that doesn't have a designated space like I do, and I know I'm very lucky to have this space, if you don't have a designated space, you might have to get a little bit creative with your videos if you're going to add one to your store. With a 33% higher conversion rate being enticed to me, I would suggest that you do strongly look at making one of these videos and adding it to your store. But I think you're going to have to go about it by using some stock images. Perhaps you could even go onto the Fiverr website and you could even offer to pay somebody to make it for you. I'm sure it wouldn't cost that much money, but it might be worth the investment to add it to your store. Now, you might be thinking, why eBay? Why do you keep giving me tasks <laughs> that I don't want to do? But honestly, eBay only give us these tasks when they recommend it and think that's important to us. And the reason why they want us to create these stores that are much more personal is it almost makes it look like we've got our own little websites within their website. I actually think it's a great thing. I feel like when people start coming to your store and it's more personalized, it looks like they're shopping in your store, not on a platform that's got millions of other sellers. I want them to be shopping in my store. If someone wants to buy books, guess what? I've got thousands of them. <laughs> I'm sure you can find more than one book in my store that you'd actually like to buy. So the better my storefront looks, hopefully it's more enticing for the buyer to come and shop with me. And perhaps they might even want to buy multiple orders. And perhaps it's going to bring back a repeat buyer because they're going to feel very secure knowing that my shop is run in a professional manner. Okay, so I'm going to have one minute to showcase all of this. <laughs> what do I want my buyers to know about my store? That's the most important part. You've got to talk about in this one minute exactly why this person should come and buy from your store. Okay, so I'm just going to write this down because I don't want to forget anything that I need to put into this video. So the first thing I want them to know is that I'm a home-based business. I'm proud of that. I'm not ashamed of it. And I certainly don't want my buyers thinking that I am like this huge organization with heaps and heaps of workers. I am the owner operator of this business. I do the whole lot. I wear every single hat and I want my buyer to know that. So I definitely want them to know that I'm adding new books daily into the store because I want that to entice them to come back every single day and look for the new books that I've actually put into the store. So adding new books, 
I definitely want them to know that I offer a free 30 days return policy because that's going to give them um, reassurance when they buy from me. I want them to be rest assured that they're going to get fast delivery when they order from my store. I'm not actually going to say how many days I post because sometimes I change that. Sometimes I post daily and sometimes I post three times a week. If I can post five days a week, I will. But if something happens and I can only post three days a week, I've got that buffer. I'm just going to make a note that I have fast delivery. Another thing is I don't want to make this video and then in a month's time, I change that delivery status from every two days to same day shipping because then I'd have to almost make the video again. So I just want to streamline it so that if I chop and change, I'm all covered. Ooh. Okay, so I definitely want to say that all my items are sent with tracking because I think that's really important. I don't send any items that aren't tracked in my store. Every item is tracked. So I'm going to make sure they know that. I guess I want to also mention that my store sells fiction, non-fiction and value bundles. Um, bubble mailers. And the other thing I might even mention is because I don't really have international orders turned on but maybe I should actually mention that if somebody is um, an international buyer and one of my books isn't listed with international posts that they can contact me and we can arrange that I think that's going to make my store sound pretty darn good okay so I'm going to walk around the shed now with the camera and get a whole lot of what they call b-roll which is basically like footage that I might talk over because I'm not sure how I'm going to put this into the video yet I will have some part of the video that's going to be me like especially the welcome hi i'm mel welcome to my ebay store but some of the footage i might actually be talking over as i'm showing the shed because remember i've only got one minute one minute okay okay let's do this hello my name is mel welcome to my ebay store <laughs> this <is> so fake <laughs> i'm used to coming on here and talking to all my friends <laughs> hey guys it's mel I need a drink. I need I need a drink. <laughs> this is harder than making a film for you guys. It's so much harder. Hello, my name is Mel and welcome to my bookstore. That'll do. <laughs> God, just let me let me go listen. Okay, so I think I've said everything that I need to say in that little video. It's only a few really sentences that I need to say. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the little one minute video the exact same way that I use to make my YouTube videos. And I just use the basic iMovie that's on my desktop. <laughs> I don't use the iMovie on my phone. I find that a little bit hard. I prefer to use, um, you've got more features when you use the desktop to use iMovie. But honestly, like I am the most simple person when it comes to editing and filming my videos. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay, so I've just put all the footage into iMovie and it came to a minute and nine seconds. <laughs> so it's actually like nine seconds is actually quite a lot to crop out when you're trying to include all the most important parts. So anyway, I've just cropped it again and again and again <laughs> and I've got it to uh, 57 seconds now. Let's see the finished video and then bring on the 33% extra conversion rate. <laughs> eBay, I'm coming at you if you don't give me 33% more conversions. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mel and welcome to my bookstore. I'm a work at home mum and I have four kids and I work from the back of the house in this converted shed that my husband built specifically for my eBay store. Every part of my business is run by myself. I'm a non-smoker and my storeroom is pet free. My bookstore has a large selection of books and I'm adding new books to the store every single day. I have a great selection of fiction and non-fiction. I also love to offer value priced bundles. I'm a top rated seller and I offer you a 30 day free return policy if you're not happy. I have fast delivery with Australia Post and every single one of my books is sent with tracking. My padded mailers are also recyclable through the Red Cycle program that's available at any of the major supermarkets here in Australia. If you're an international buyer, I'm more than happy to send you a book worldwide. All of my books are photographed individually so you can be assured the book that you're buying is the exact book in the photograph. Feel free to send me a message and ask any questions at any time. Thank you for shopping or browsing in my bookstore. Okay, so what do you think? 
Drop me the comments down below. I want to know what you think about my video. Should I have added anything or done something differently? How does it make you feel knowing where you're buying from? Does it actually make you feel better about it or do you not like it? Does it bring in that emotional value that you don't want to know? Maybe you don't want to know what the warehouse looks like. Maybe you've got this vision that I have this thousands and thousands of square feet with all these books. <laughs> Like, does this actually hinder me, do you think? Or do you think people are going to go, nice, work from home mum, hustling, I'm going to buy from her store. Interested in your thoughts, interested to see if I really do get those extra conversions, and interested to know, are you guys going to create a video banner for your channel? It is late here at night now in the shed and I'm putting together this video. I just wanted to check if my eBay video had actually uploaded yet because they said it could take up to 48 hours. And it's done. Anyway, I love how it looks. I want to show you the video actually shows under the About Me section on somebody's eBay store page. So you can see it either on the phone or you can see it on the desktop. You just have to go to that little About Me section. I think it looks great. I'm very happy with the result. In a couple of weeks, I'll come back. I'll let you know whether or not I saw a sudden spike in the conversion views. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm trying to decide if I put some royalty-free, copyright-free music into the video. Sometimes it's really hard to know. Some people like music, some people don't. It's a personal thing. If you're going to put music when you've got voice audio, you want to make sure that the music is so low. Like if I'm talking and I've got um, music in my videos, I literally have them on 1% or 2%. Like I like them very, very low. You don't want it to overtake what you're trying to say, but it kind of just gives another dimension when there is a little bit of background music. But sometimes it's so hard to find a background music that's likable. <laughs> Because royalty-free music often isn't always the best. <laughs> Sometimes, guys, when I'm making your videos and there's music in it, rest assured, I can spend an hour searching for that song <laughs> to make sure it kind of fits the video. A bit jazzy, a bit mellow. Now, if you imagine this low... guitar more than the jazz. I'm going to try this. Hello, my... Oh, this is so fake. <laughs> it's like when I used to work at McDonald's. Hello, Fishwick McDonald's, when Lisa speaking. <laughs> ah, God, here we go. <laughs> Let's go again. Hello, my name is Mel and welcome to my eBay store. Oh my gosh, so weird telling them to come to my eBay store instead of welcome to my channel. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> okay. My bookstore is a home-based business. I'm a work-from-home mum. I have four kids and I work from the back of the house in this converted shed that my husband built specifically. But specifically. That word never comes out right when I try and say it. Specifically. Not specifically specifically come on Mel come on just it's it's hard to get it out okay now I'm gonna be one of those people that so like hits 100k subs and um still using the iPhone <laughs> hear that I'm putting it out to the universe 100k subs come at me come at me my bookstore is a home-based business I'm a work my business is a home uh, my eBay bookstore is a home-based business that I come on Mel come on come on Oh, Mel, why do you say that? Oh, come on. Bookstore is a home-based business. Ugh, it's tongue twister. God. I, my base business. My business will be the home-based business. Far out. Home-based business. My eBay store is a home-based 